fight number five is an elimination 125 pound bout. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner. Please make welcome Alex Petrofesso. We talked about the 135 pound fighters not having any worries about cardio. Well, here we are in the 125 pound division. I swear these guys could go rounds for a week straight without having to stop and take a breath. So uh, tell us what you know about our 125 pound fighter, Mr. Pietro Faso, coming to the cage. Well, Pietro Faso, 25 years old, coming in with a record of one and one. His one win by knockout, training at Trials MMA in Fort Collins. Uh, however, Petra wrestled at Thompson Valley in Loveland. He was a one-time freestyle champ and a two-time AAU national freestyle champ. So definitely has a decided, decided wrestling background. Um, he does have two years of stand-up experience, though, so I wouldn't count him out on that either. He said he feels like he's coming into this fight very well-rounded, doesn't care if he stays standing up or goes to the ground. But I have a feeling with that background, we're going to take it to the ground. So a lifetime of wrestling, a couple of years of striking, training in one of the premier gyms in Colorado with trials, and uh, former international fight league fighter Ryan Schultz in his corner there. You know that they're keeping his wrestling on point because that's Schultz's specialty, although the gym has evolved into having fighters that are such good, well-rounded MMA athletes and we see that with Pietro Faso coming to us with that outstanding wrestling background, having a win by knockout. Yeah, and you, you have to nowadays. You know, gone are the days of coming in being a one-dimensional fighter. As you move up through the ranks, you just, you can't succeed if you don't have at least a decent background in everything. Yeah, obviously you can still have strength, but one-dimensional, not going to cut it. Yeah, gone are the days of Chuck Liddell just standing there swinging at your face. And now, fighting out of the Blue Course Shooting Center Blue Corner, please make welcome Alan Duda. I love watching Alan Dudo fight. He is such a dynamic fighter, such great action. No matter where the fight goes and no matter what it, uh, you know, how deep he is in the fight, he always has the ability to remain very technical. Yeah, and Alan Dudo's only 20 years old. His brother, his twin brother, is actually fighting on this card as well. Um, considers himself a stand-up fighter, uh, training at a family affair boxing in Denver. However, he did wrestle in high school for Grandview High in Aurora. Um, you know, said he's been really focusing on his speed and his footwork um, and, and really trying to get his leg kicks back to being on point. So even though he's got a wrestling background, really focusing on that striking. Just wants to come in, throw leg kicks, and really grind his opponent down. Um, just been working on adding new weapons. Interesting focus on leg kicks. Uh, both you and I, with the Muay Thai background, obviously going to be one of our favorite techniques. So. We'll definitely be pretty excited to see if he's able to implement that new tool that he has in his toolbox. I love leg kicks more than anything. I can't tell you how good it feels to land a leg kick and just see the soul drain out of your opponent. So we're checking out the tail of the tape here. You mentioned Dudo being only 20 years old, but already a wealth of experience. And uh, Dudo coming to us with a bit of a height and reach advantage. Fight number five of the evening is presented by Quantum CBD H2O. Quantum CBD H2O is extracted and produced from only the finest hemp plants, each one sourced from local farms across America to bring you the world's highest quality USA grown 100% THC free cannabis infused water. Time to meet the elimination 125 pound fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, holding an MMA record of one win and one loss from Trials Mixed Martial Arts in Fort Collins, Colorado. Please make welcome Alex Petrofesso. And now, fighting out of the Blue Corps Shooting Center Blue Corner, holding an MMA record of zero wins and two losses from a family affair boxing in Denver, Colorado. Please make welcome, Alan Duda. 
This elimination 125 pound bout is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Referee Tom Johnson. So we got Pietro Faso wearing the black trunks against Dudo wearing the black and red trunks. Dudo representing a family affair boxing. Pietro Faso representing trials. Referee Tom Johnson representing the Colorado Boxing Commission. He's wearing all black tonight. And let's see how this fight plays out. Both these guys do have a wrestling background. Let's see if they try to keep it on the feet. Nice uppercut by Dudo, or uh, Pietro Faso, excuse me, it just missed, but boy, what a well-timed, well-thought-out technique. Yeah, and a good switch head kick tried by Dudo. But uh, you can see Petra Faso's level changes are definitely on tonight, and I feel like he's using that striking to make that level change and really get in on those legs and get a takedown. There it is right there. And the takedown right into Mount. This is not a good position for Dudo. Nice head movement by Pietro Faso, managing the distance exceptionally well, then getting that trip and just immediately putting himself into a dominant position. Dudo trying to tie things up off the bottom, keeping Pietro Faso from posturing so far, but it's just going to be a matter of time before Pietro Faso gets those arms free, works across face, and starts to light him up with ground and pound. Yeah, Dudo is doing a good job of keeping one of those arms in, but Pietro Faso, if you can see, he's got those legs just curled up underneath of Dudo, uh, Dudo, and it makes it just extremely hard to get anything going from the bottom. Good punch coming down for Pietro Faso, but unable to put together a strong series of ground and pound yet, and that speaks to the, uh, the defense of Dudo doing some of the right things and definitely trying to wiggle his way out of there, putting his feet on the cage, trying to get a roll or a turn. But Pietro Faso, just great hips. And as my uh, other broadcasting partner, Ron Goldstein, always says, what a great gyro on this kid. Just able to ride from the top and keep his balance. I like it. And uh, Dudo does have a decided reach advantage, which does make it a little bit easier for him to reach up and tie up those arms. But if you can't get him bucked off of you, it is going to be a long minute and three seconds left in this round. And now starting to get together some of the combinations from the top. Normally you think a ground and pound is just a flurry, but it's actually a technically precise striking game all of its own working those strikes on the ground. And just like it is with stand up and starting to get some of those ground and pound combinations going is Pietro Faso. Good shrimping by Dudo. Almost got out of it. He's got one leg and a butterfly guard. I don't know if he's going to be able to get that switched or not. Ah, right back into mount for Pietro Faso. And Dudo was actually trying to give up his back a minute ago, and Pietro Faso wasn't having it. Most guys would take the back. Pietro Faso said, no, we're staying in mount. There he gets the back. There it is, and sneaking that arm under, and that's going to be tight. Looks like Pietro Faso has that. Got him stretched, got him arched. I think he's under the chin. I think it's just going to be a matter of seconds here. Yeah. If Dudo can hold on, it's only got five more seconds to There's go, the and tap. he taps out. Congratulations, Mr. Pietro Faso. Representing Trials going home with the victory by way of rear naked choke. That was a very impressive victory by Pietro Faso in all phases, threw some good strikes, a solid takedown, and then just a thorough domination from the top. What a technical fight by Pietro Faso. Everything from the distance management and the timing while he was in the stand-up, strike selection, we talked about the uppercut that he tried to throw that just barely missed, uh, able to affect the takedown, manages the position just perfectly, lets his opponent turn down and then wraps him up. You know, I mean, you couldn't script it better. You really couldn't, and it's hard to say somebody fought a perfect fight, but I'm pretty sure Pietro Faso just fought a perfect fight. Yeah, it looks like he could go another three to five rounds in there tonight. <laughs> Probably excited he only had to go one, though. <laughs> <laughs> And no shame in Dudo's game. They're over there talking to him already, as good coaches do, immediately saying, hey, here's a couple things we can work on. Here's some stuff that can go better for us next time. And let's take it up, Sean, get the official time. At two minutes, 56 seconds of round number one, referee Johnson has got a stop to this fight, declaring your winner by submission, Alex Petrifeso. It's Sean 
the cage with Alex. Let's talk about that fight a little bit. Was that kind of in the game plan, this training camp, to get the guy on the ground, look for a submission? Uh, yeah, we, our plan, well, our plan's always to come in and fight our fight, you know, put it all in the cage, but we wanted to work some wrestling and do some of that, and it worked out, so. Certainly worked out for you well. What's up next? Whatever, man, you know, I got, just had another, our baby, six weeks old, so hang out with him, you know. Congratulations on that, man. Congratulations on the victory. Some people you want to thank, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I want to thank SNS Seal Coding. I want to thank Trials, uh, Ryan Schultz, Jared Hardy, Steve Peters, my entire team down at Trials, man. You're a big help. Couldn't do it without you guys, my friends, my family, everybody out here. Thank you for coming. Congratulations once again on that victory. Give it up once again for your winner, Alex Petrofesso. Stay tuned, music from Sean Curtis and The Divide coming up in just a moment.